Hey, Smokestack fans, Johnny C. here in New Jersey. What we have here, and you've probably seen this on the Onan forum, uh, it is an Onan V45. It is a uh, flathead, okay, four-cylinder flathead. Uh, this particular one was probably made right around World War II, judging by the colors and everything else like that. Uh, the ID tag and all that is missing, so I do have a VIN ID, but it doesn't tell me exactly what year. Uh, the whole intent is to rip this thing apart and get it working. Okay, it actually does work But not all that well. I got this from uh, one of the members on the own forum Ben trigger You uh, did have an issue with the generator end. It was sparking. Okay, we fixed that found a piece of foreign uh, material in there uh, Looked like a spade connector metal spade connector. That's no problem, but we do have some issues with the motor uh, basically, what we have here is uh, uh, one of the cylinders was really low on compression. I think it was like around 60 p PSI. Uh, the others were a little bit better, about 90 or so. But nonetheless, we do have some issues. Also, I saw evidence of uh, really bad uh, 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 gook and whatever, you know, from oil probably never changed. Uh, inside okay bent trigger also noticed that too as well so i'm sure it's going to be surprised when we pull this thing apart uh we did take off the carburetor and a couple other things but basically it's all intact uh just going around assessing some of the uh, issues with this right here i do see uh by the way this is water cooled okay we do have a radiator uh i do see evidence of water right here okay that uh, made all these markings and I got a feeling that the cylinder may have uh, uh, rusted out and we're getting some uh, leakage through here. If that's the case, we may have some major issues, but I don't know. We'll have to see. This is the cylinder that's low on uh, compression. All right, so it may be a valve. Who knows? Don't know. Uh, when we tear it apart, we'll uh, see what's going on. So basically, I'm just doing an assessment. Uh, what are we actually going to do to this thing? If we could get it, uh, like brand new, we're going to paint it the, uh, original colors and we're going to make this, uh, I guess a showpiece. By the way, this is a five kilowatt, uh, 120, 120, uh, volt AC, uh, unit. Was it 240? I don't know. I did a test on it a while ago, but basically this is supposed to be in my winter project, but I'm kind of bored. It's kind of nasty outside anyway. So we're going to do this in phases over the summer and into the winter, but the basic uh, uh, step that we need to take first is to make an assessment of this uh, set right here and start ripping it down, knowing the areas that we really have to look into. So over time, we'll post some videos as we're making progress on ripping this thing apart, showing some of the things that we're going to be finding, surprises and whatnot. All right, so uh, this project is probably going to last all summer. Uh, but I'm going to go full tilt into this, uh, I guess in the fall time and in the winter time. So, uh, once again, we'll post some updates and on the forum, we do have a thread going, uh, where hopefully I'll be posting a lot of pictures and people will be participating and answering questions that I may have. And maybe I could answer some questions that, uh, they may have. There's not too many of these. Okay. Uh, I think a couple people out there in the forum, uh, do have these. Uh, again, this is a uh, four-cylinder uh, flathead. Okay, two cylinders on one side, two cylinders on the other. I like that. Uh, I think the uh, two-cylinder flathead, where, you know, basically this guy up here was up here, is more common. Uh, so anyway, we'd like to get this thing going. All right, this has some nice classic styles. It's very nostalgic. Uh, what would I be doing with this? I don't know. <laughs> be quite honest with you, I, I have probably like 13 other generators laying around that are already uh, refurbished. Uh, re, uh, uh, that's not one. This is the one that I just got just a few weeks ago, but it works great. But uh, it's, being it's a classic, we'll probably just uh, show it off, I guess. To who? I don't know. But anyway, so that's about it. I just wanted to give you an overview of what we got here. Let me walk around. This is pretty neat, by the way. This coil right here actually has a light bulb. Okay, i never seen that before. Uh, I, I understand that's something like of a 1960s vintage. It's not the original coil from what I was told. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look what we got here. This thing, uh, seen as day, that's for sure. Our radiator hoses, they're all petrified. And uh, let's do a quick walk around. Okay, what do we got here? Here's our radiator. I think it leaks. Okay, leaks where? Probably into the uh, oil uh, gallery. 
down into the oil pan because we did uh, open up the valve, the uh, drain valve for the oil and water did come out. But anyway, this is going to be one heck of a project, okay? But again, it's going to take time and uh, I just hope we don't hit any showstoppers. I do have some concern about the uh, leakage coming in down here. Once again, if this is perforated through in one way or another, we're going to have some issues, okay? But anyway... So that's about it. Keep uh, in touch uh, through the forum and we'll keep the updates going. Okay, Johnny C. from New Jersey. Take care. Bye.